Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I'm going to give you five examples of wonderful ways to absolutely ruin your SketchUp model. <laughs> was, was that the most negative <laughs> twist we could put on it? It's all for the algorithm, folks. Uh, but no, but seriously, one of the questions that comes up a lot when we look at our forums or talk to new users, that sort of thing, they're making mistakes that they don't know they're making. So I have seen models on 3D Warehouse that are just, they're beautiful models, but they got some stuff going on which you just tell they weren't modeled well to someone who didn't know what they're doing or, or was for whatever reason bucking the system and doing stuff in a different way. But anyhow, I wanted to come through and show you general purpose. These are, I'm gonna be showing with a architectural model, this this house, but these are things that come up in all different kinds of models. Uh, it, it, they're most commonly done by new users who don't know better, but I would say there's probably some seasoned users who have some issues here too. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it on anybody specifically. I'm not gonna call anybody out. You know who you are. So let's hop in and uh, take a look at five ways to ruin a good SketchUp model. All right, so there's definitely some personal stuff I could get into with this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get personal. I'm not gonna take this personal. Um, <laughs> I do like to model solid whenever possible. So every once in a while, if I see a model that's not solid, it, it gets me, but uh, I get over it, I get over it. Um, same thing, I, I, what, what I'm really thinking of here is if I took this model, saved it and sent it to a coworker, a friend, or whatever, what are they gonna stumble on? What, what are they gonna hit that they don't like? So this is an old live model we did of uh, the haunted mansion in some Disney park. I can't remember where it is, but uh, that's what this is. So I wanna run through my top five issues you could have with a model. So this is a fairly simple model, a couple hours of modeling, nothing too complex. Uh, here's the first one. I'm gonna start clicking and see if you can pick what the issue is. See how each time I click a single surface or edge lines up? That is because this is all loose geometry. So a model as complex as this should not be a bunch of lines and edges. Uh, those of you who are not aware why, that is because geometry sticks. So anytime you grab any of these pieces and try to move them, it's gonna massively distort the rest of the building. Uh, these pieces should be, as they're modeled, put into groups, or components and save that way. This, sending somebody a model with a bunch of loose, this much loose geometry is, is tantamount to an I hate you letter. So I don't know that an I hate you letter is a real thing, but you guys get what I'm talking about. You're writing I hate you and then just giving it to them. So this is bad. And this is, this is foundational modeling in SketchUp. What you should be doing is as you finish a thing, as I finish the floor here, it should become a group. These columns are reused, so I'd make one, make it a component, that sort of thing. Um, this, as it stands, this is, no, this is not good. This is, uh, if somebody sent this to me, if I was doing anything other than taking a screenshot of this, I would probably send it right back to them and say, thanks anyways. Um, this is rough. So don't do that. That's probably the biggest one. Don't, you should be grouping geometry as you go. And in case you don't know, grouping is of course when you just grab a set of geometry, right click and say make group. That's all there is to it. In fact, you can even make a group with nothing selected. So I could have nothing turned on and say make a group. And I'm in an empty group right now. So there's really no excuse to not do this. This is a beautiful way to mess up your model. All right. Second one's maybe a little personal. When I send somebody a model, I like to send them this, right? So series in here is a scale figure, that's cool. The rest of it, I mean, I, obviously, if this were grouped is how I would send it. What drives me a little bit crazy is when I get a model from somebody, I'm like, hey, that's great. What, 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 what? Why we got a lumber yard over here on the side? Why we got piles of extra geometry? This is, this is representative too. This is a simple example. Um, I've seen models that have basically everything that's here just strewn out across the yard to the side. It drives me crazy because there's no reason for this. So if you temporarily take geometry, move it over here, use it, that's cool. But go ahead and 
go ahead and, especially if this is going out as a finished product, clean this stuff up. If you think you're going to reuse it, if this column's going in again and again and again, make it a component. Let it save in your components so you can just grab it and bring it back in. There's no reason to have stuff strewn out across like this. I know some people use this as sort of a, a, a phase approach, right? So you do version one of the structure and then set that to the side. Version two, version three. As you're working through stuff, I have a detail and I grab it and drop it on a lot. That happens. Yeah. But there's a point, like I said, this is a finished model. This should all go in the trash. Right click, de erase, de erase, de erase. No, uh, I was going to say delete, but then the term is actually erase. So that looks better. That's what you should be having. Um, something else, you, some of you may have already caught this, but sticking stuff in the distance. This is almost like an Easter egg meme joke thing. So this is a copy of this exact same model put, I don't know, thousands of feet away. Again, as I'm moving around here, it doesn't really bother uh, my model as I'm working on it. But if I do something like zoom extents and I get this, well, I shouldn't, that shouldn't happen, right? I don't need whatever this is over here if everything for my model is right here. So sometimes people do this unintentionally. I accidentally copied my house 4,000 feet up the red axis. Um, or sometimes this is caused by, uh, you know, like I was saying before, somebody wants to have a maintain a copy of this. So instead of creating a component and saving it, they just put a copy and they scooted it way off the screen so it's not in their scene. Or maybe you imported some information that had like real world attributes. So your model is... 20 miles away from the origin or something like that. Whatever the reason, uh, a good thing to do is just you know, click on click on this. Click on Zoom Extents. And if it does show you, oh, there's something way over here. Get rid of the way over here thing. I'm just going to delete that. It's a copy of my model. But uh, there we go. So now when I hit Zoom Extents, I should see everything in my model. That's what I should be seeing. So plus, if you do have things far enough away from the origin, it can actually cause display errors where it doesn't draw your model correctly. So stick near the origin, unless there's like, if I was modeling something really big, like all the land around this, then it would go outside that. But there's no reason really to stray too far from here, especially if I'm doing something that's like house shaped. I could stay pretty close to the origin pretty easily. All right, uh, another thing. So here's, this is one that gets me. I, I, I've done this before. I've done all these things before, by the way, guys. I'm not, not preaching at you. I'm not, not uh, suggesting anybody's, you know, a disappointment in my eyes. We've all been here. So one of the things that shows up a lot is hidden geometry, right? Hidden objects or hidden geometry. I'm not talking about these lines here. These are smoothed out edges. That's fine. That should be showing up. That, that is part of the model. I'm talking about this stuff over here where you copied things and then instead of deleting them, you just selected them, right click and say hide. And now they're in the model, but I can't see them if hidden geometry is turned off. Again, hidden geometry is a great tool to use while modeling. So there's a lot of cases where I right click on stuff and hide it. If you want to see what's going on inside this roof, a great way to do it is to right click and say hide. And now it's gone. Now I can see that was really unimpressive. I can see this other face inside of here. Ah, still unimpressive. Eventually, oh, there we go. Ooh, now I'm at, all right, so I'm going to stop deleting things. But you get the idea. Um, so I can hide something, and then once I've cleaned up whatever it is got to clean up, I can come in here and say edit, uh, unhide, last, and it'll put that back. If you end up in this situation where you're hiding stuff or you're just trying to clean up, a lot of times what will happen, this will happen because I'm like, okay, I want to create a scene right here. I have some stuff in the way. Let me just select it and hide it real quick. The better way to do that, if this is supposed to stay in the model for viewing later, is to select it, add it to a tag, a custom tag, and then hide that tag. That way you can turn it on and off. If it's just junk laying over here that you hid to get off the screen, this isn't doing your model any good by being here. In fact, it's causing potential problems because if I come in here and I start drawing edges or something like that, they're going to potentially end up hitting these other edges over here. See how it broke that line? So if that stuff's still turned off, then I end up with this weird broken line for some reason. I don't understand why. Because it's, geometry still respects geometry that's hidden. It doesn't pretend it's not there. So it doesn't go away. So 
try not to leave hidden geometry in your finished models. It's really just gonna sooner or later cause a problem and it bloats the file. This is all geometry that is saved in the file even though it's not visible. I've seen people who have their entire model duplicated and hidden so their models immediately right off the bat twice as much geometry as they need and it's just turned off over here and all they had to do is come here and delete it and there you go back to back to the simple model so i see i have my hidden geometry on right now i got no extra stuff oh no there's a couple lines over there Ooh, there's always more all right so we're getting there so assuming we have all of this grouped we got my extra stuff in the yard deleted. We don't have anything far from the origin. We got rid of hidden geometry. What else could we possibly be worried about? Well, I, that was four things. So I got five. I told you I was going to do five. So the fifth thing is stuff that you don't actually see in the modeling screen. If I was to hit the B button for paint bucket, look what comes up here. This is a list of materials. Look at all those materials. I modeled in one material here. Sri is in here. She's got, I don't know, maybe 8, 10, 12 colors on her, and the rest is all white. Why do I have all these materials? Well, the thing is, every time you use a material in the paint bucket, if, you, if I paint something a certain color and then remove that object or paint it back to white, it's still saved in my model. Same with importing components. Let me shrink this down a little bit and scoot it over. So we got all these materials saved in this model right now. There are things components here. If I look at this, you can see, all right, so I have some components in here that make sense. They're probably part of the model. Here's my unfinished mansion. Uh, that's good. And then I have a bunch of cars, car parts. There's three. Again, that makes sense. Three's here. But look at all these extra pieces I have in here. So again, every time I pull something in from 3D Warehouse or do a, a an import of a SketchUp model in here. Even if I delete it, it's still saved as part of the model. So right now, this model has whatever, 100 whatever materials here and a dozen uh, components that aren't being used. This is the 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 epitome of file bloat. And the, the, the reason this gets frustrating in particular is this is so easy to fix. All I have to do to fix this is go up to my model info window, model info is under Windows on Mac, it's under SketchUp on Windows. And uh, go to the statistics right here, and you'll see it'll, it'll give me all the information, including, like I said, uh, 169 materials, 71 components. None of that stuff's actually being used. Clicking Purge Unused is going to get rid of any of those additional materials. So right now it's checking. So not only is it going to check for unused components and materials, it's also going to check for unused environments, unused tags, and unused styles. Any of them that are not turned on, or any of them that are turned on then, and when I hit Purge Selected, they'll go away. And then you'll see that. One second. There we go. We're down to just the materials that are in the model and just the components that are in the model. And that's it. And that that right there can can... I've seen models go to 1 20th the size <laughs> because somebody as they're modeling downloaded a ton of entourage from 3D Warehouse and decided they didn't want it. So they just selected and deleted it, but they did not take the component out of the model. So this is an easy way to make your model very, very big and heavy when you don't actually need it. So there you go. Those are five ways to make a good looking SketchUp model not good. What did I call this? Five ways to ruin a good-looking SketchUp model. That's what I was shooting for. Thank you very much. So hopefully you guys like that. Hopefully you haven't hit too many of those too often. But if you have, now you have a good idea of how to go fix that, right? You could go back in and, and check old models for this kind of stuff. Or failing that, as you start sharing or distributing models moving forward, check for this kind of thing. And this, this shows up all over the place. This is people passing models back and forth to each other. This is, you know, go, put in, posting people post stuff on 3D Warehouse that, with this stuff going on all the time. There is some stuff that's automated. I believe Purge will run automatically when you upload, but uh, some of the stuff, hidden geometry and all that kind of stuff, it can be kind of a mess. So if you want the best possible model and the most usable model, make sure you don't do any of those five things and and you'll be good uh if you like this video click like down below and if you haven't already please do subscribe we create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them 
if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. Have you violated any of these? Do you do, do, you do any of these regularly? Are any of these surprises to you you didn't know even to look for? Or do you have an idea for a video, something we haven't done or we haven't done for a while that you would like to see in a new video? Let us know any of that in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when showing something you want to see. Thank you.